I just came to this rural cabin uh, here in the countryside. Nobody here, no people, um, no cars, you don't hear anything, just me, my camera and nature around. And the idea is like you are locking your uh, phone and spending three days, like two and a half days uh, without a phone, without socials, without anything, just walking around with a paper map, with uh, your compass, spending time walking, sitting, having time with barbecue, reading, doing something, and yeah, have plans. <laughs> for these two three days i will show you everything but for now i'm just sitting here uh, watching this view and to be honest it's everything i needed you could see everything so so far um, love it you could see like other towns or even cities I have a lot of food with me, so I don't need to go to find a food or just go to supermarket to buy food to cook at home. I have everything with me and tomorrow I will just wake up, have my porridge and that's it. And just will do all my stuff, reading, writing, painting, uh, yeah, we'll see. So I want to show what we will cook today. I have a bread. It's not bread, it's just pressed seeds. I love it. I got uh, tomatoes. Do we'll do it somehow on grill or just for salad, we'll see. Just sliced cheese and vegan uh, chicken. It's my favorite one. I'm not big fan of like eating fake meat a lot but sometimes we, we do and on picnic or like when we are going outside i don't know it's like a tradition to have kind of kind of this this one and being started so I decided to have a dinner here Smell of this tea is awesome. Like my favorite one is uh, chamomile with herbals. Morning. I just woke up. It's uh, around 7 a.m. Uh, in the morning and finally it's quite chilly. Also, I figure out how the map works and how to use this compass. So, we have a north here, it says. So, I put a north here as well, so like that. And we have a cabin here. And I remember when we came, I remember that a beautiful church, I want to visit it. And as I don't understand 
I need to go to my right hand so seems like I need to go there and as I remember is it it is the right way I do remember from where I came and seems like there is the right way also here on a map I have a lot of points where I could go so the longest one is two hours and a half it's right here on the map so yeah i have dots here points here and the closest one pub is here like 40 50 minutes to go not too far so it is my breakfast just oat with everything green juice and tea and pin peanut butter cups So by map we are going this way here. I just uh, came uh, going there but almost there to the point and on a map it says that it's a public path here and also a bridal way it's like a road for horses so if you're riding horses uh, usually people go in there so it's um, like long puncture and yeah i'm so proud of myself that i figured out how to use it and didn't use my phone and came to the right point because i see uh, the river here and i saw i, I hear a river there and i uh, pass by and go into uh, to the center and will go down to my house to have a rest a trail like everything dusty <laughs> my shorts is like become black <laughs> because of horses but yeah so excited to have a um, conversation with them and yeah it is a truly um, slow living yeah, I just read about two hours. I don't remember when I last time read uh, so long in one time. Now I'm going to have a dinner on a fire. And it's interesting that you're spending time like that without any screening time and uh, without um, anything that you don't need actually. I just thought a lot about my work about my projects and i like that i have that 
empty time, like time spending all day thinking about things I really carry on because sometimes it could be not sometimes like almost every day uh, interrupting by something but by emails by people by messages uh, by anything and sometimes I have an idea and I don't have a chance to implement it or just think about it or just work on it because I have a lot of um, different stuff and people around and these days I do understand that sometimes I need days like this one it's um, helps me to understand my priorities what do I want, what do I do, what do I want to do Also interesting that when you live on your own um, in a forest, like in wildness, you don't need to know what the time it is because you could see it. You could see it outside uh, without any watches, and you don't even care about time. It's interesting. morning just woke up and enjoyed my breakfast uh, just again ought with some seeds and nuts and also listen to radio like <laughs> morning morning to the show with news and it was interesting and guests from Scotland like TV show from Scotland and it was so good also read an hour or even more I guess because I just figure out that I started to finish uh, started to finish my book uh, because when I came here I just started that book but now almost finished really enjoy it I will tell about this book uh, in my next vlogs when I will finish it but love it love this book one of my favorites so far I just decided to go to, to go to a nearest town because my batteries for my camera is out of juice already. I have two and all gone. And I decided to go to a pub. It's like the nearest pub. And in the pub, it's so good service, like so good. The food is so tasty, and I charge everything and like explored an area just a little bit around and came back to. To read, maybe I will finish my book. Morning. It is my last morning here. My taxi will be in like 40 minutes and I'm just waiting, uh, having breakfast and having, uh, having my morning tea and just found a nice book here, it's Scrabble Dictionary. Uh, Scrabble is a uh, board uh, crossword game and here is the rules. Finally I just figure out all rules, not only like playing like crossword but you could play like that one so you you will have more points and yeah uh, here is in dictionary you could find a lot of words that uh, could help you with your um, 
game. Sometimes you could use plural, so they duplicate uh, nouns in plur plural form as well. And it's interesting because sometimes we are playing with Dima and stuck because we don't have a lot of short words and this diction is like amazing, we need it. <laughs> And also, I finished my book about Humboldt, we'll talk about it later, and also wrote some ideas about future blogs, about uh, what I want to film, why, about what I want to uh, talk. And these days I didn't have uh, a lot of action, a lot of activities, but we just tried to calm, to sit here, uh, to relax, to read a lot. I just read a lot, like a lot, drank a lot of <laughs> uh, tea and really nice tea here. And I'm so happy that I've been here uh, for these three days. If you want to go also from London for another part of uh, Britain, you could check link uh, in the description. I will left you for their Instagram. I really love their Instagram about uh, stories, about um, uh, reels that other people are doing about their slow life here. And yeah, hope to you enjoyed uh, this video. I'm just will wait uh, for the minutes and we'll go home. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to uh, see my new vlogs. See you.